Today, we're diving into two groundbreaking hydrogen developments that are shaping the global hydrogen economy. We'll explore the U.S. extension of the hydrogen tax credits propelling plug power's ambitions and Germany's bold push to accelerate hydrogen infrastructure. Each story will weave in its implications for the global hydrogen market and the broader energy transition. Our cost estimates come from the International Energy Agency, Bloomberg NEF, the U.S. Department of Energy, and other trusted sources. All this on today's Hydrogen Podcast. We start in the United States, where two articles highlight the transformative impact of policy support on Plug Power, a leading hydrogen fuel cell company. On July 8th, The Motley Fool reported that Plug Power stocks surged 68.8% in June of this year. This is according to S&P Global Market Intelligence, driven by the Senate's version of the One Big Beautiful Bill Act, passed on June 30th which extends the hydrogen industry tax credits through January 1st of 2028, which is a two-year extension from earlier proposals that threatened to phase them out by the end of 2025. This policy shift, combined with a $1.66 billion loan from the Department of Energy, enables Plug Power to accelerate its hydrogen production and fuel cell network at a lower cost of capital, positioning it as a key player of the clean energy shift, as noted by Carbon Credits on July 4th. Plug Power aims to produce 500 tons of hydrogen per day in North America by the end of this year to scale to 1,000 tons per day globally by 2028, leveraging its expertise in fuel cell systems and electrolyzers. Additionally, Plug Power announced a 5 gigawatt partnership with Allied Green Ammonia for a $5.5 billion green chemical production facility in Uzbekistan, though a final investment decision is not expected until the fourth quarter of this year, this per The Motley Fool. However, Seeking Alpha on July 2nd cautioned that the tax credit rally may be overstated as Plug Power faces significant financial challenges. The company reported negative gross margins of 55% and operating cash outflows of $105.6 million in the first quarter of this year, with a projected loss of $0.59 per share for 2025. Despite expected sales of $715.4 million, representing a 13.8% year-over-year increase, this is according to Zach's consensus estimates, Plug Power's cash reserves stood at $351.6 million at the end of the first quarter, bolstered by a $1 billion stock offering. But its high cash burn rate and ongoing losses raised concerns about its path to profitability, this per Seeking Alpha. Despite these hurdles, Plug Power's strategic moves are promising. The company secured contracts to supply fuel cell systems to a major U.S. automaker for 100 fuel cell electric vehicles and to a European material handling customer, signaling growing demand. This again per Motley Fool. With an installed base of over 69,000 fuel cell systems and 250 refueling stations globally, Plug Power projects 2024 revenue of $825 million to $925 million, which is a 3.5% increase from prior guidance, this per carbon credits. Its partnerships, such as with Amazon and Walmart for material handling applications, and its expansion into markets like Japan and South Korea and Australia demonstrate its global ambitions, and this per Reuters. However, achieving profitability remains critical, with an analyst noting that Plug Power's $5.5 billion Uzbekistan project and other ventures must deliver cost efficiencies to offset its 55% negative gross margins and sustain investor confidence, this again per Seeking Alpha. The extension of the U.S. hydrogen tax credits through January 1st of 2028 and Plug Power's $1.66 billion DOE loan highlight how policy support can drive hydrogen industry growth, setting a precedent for global markets. The global hydrogen market, valued at $12.3 billion in 2025 and projected to grow to nearly $200 billion by 2034 with a 41% annual growth rate, benefits from policies that reduce production and deployment costs, driven by falling renewable energy prices in the U.S., Europe, and Asia. This is according to Carbon Credits. Plug Power's target of producing 500 tons of hydrogen per day in North America by 2025 and scaling to 1,000 tons per day globally by 2028 could inspire similar ambitions in regions 
like the Middle East, where large-scale hydrogen projects aim for millions of tons annually by 2030, and Europe targeting significant production capacity by 2030, also per Bloomberg NEF. However, Plug Power's financial challenges, with $105.6 million in cash outflows and 55% negative gross margins, underscore the need for operational efficiency and sustained policy support to scale hydrogen globally. Infrastructure gaps, such as the high cost of pipelines at $1 to $2 million per mile, require global investments of $50 to $100 billion by 2035 to connect production to demand. This for the IEA. Plug Power's partnerships, like the $5.5 billion Uzbekistan project and contracts with U.S. and European customers, signal growing international demand, encouraging countries like Japan and South Korea to invest in hydrogen for industrial and transport applications. This per McKinsey. The 68.8% stock surge reflects investor optimism, but sustained growth depends on plug power achieving profitability and leveraging its 69,000 fuel cell systems and 250 refueling stations to build a global hydrogen ecosystem. Now, we move to Germany, where on July 8th, Yahoo News reported that the government is accelerating the expansion of its hydrogen infrastructure to decarbonize its industrial and energy sectors. The government plans to simplify approval processes for hydrogen projects and provide 3.22 billion euros in subsidies to support the construction of a 9,700 kilometer hydrogen pipeline network by 2032, capable of transporting 10 million tons of hydrogen annually. This initiative, backed by Germany's once-in-a-generation fiscal shift, aligns with the European Union's target of achieving 40 gigawatts of hydrogen production capacity through electrolysis by 2030, supported by 992 million euros from the EU Hydrogen Bank, this according to Bloomberg NEF. The pipeline network will connect industrial hubs and enable hydrogen imports, addressing critical transport bottlenecks and reinforcing Germany's leadership in Europe's energy transition. The broader European Stock 600 Index, up 6.6% .6 in 2025, reflects strong investor confidence in these developments. This per Reuters. Germany's 3.22 billion euro investment in a 9,700 kilometer pipeline network designed to transport 10 million tons of hydrogen annually by 2032 underscores the pivotal role of infrastructure in scaling the global hydrogen economy. In Asia, where Japan and South Korea plan to import 5 to 10 million tons of hydrogen annually by 2050, similar pipeline networks costing 1 to 2 million dollars per mile are essential to connect production and demand centers. This according to McKinsey. The Middle East Gulf Cooperation Council could adopt this model to export hydrogen, supporting global supply chains. This per Bloomberg NEF. The global hydrogen market projected to grow from 12.3 billion in 2025 to nearly 200 billion by 2034, with a 41% annual growth rate, relies on such infrastructure to develop hydrogen to industrial and energy applications. This per carbon credits. Germany's initiative, which is backed by 992 million euros from the EU Hydrogen Bank, sets a global standard for infrastructure investment. With 50 to 100 billion dollars needed for worldwide development by 2035 to enable hydrogen to decarbonize industries and energy systems. This according to the IEA. The 6.6% rise in the European Stock 600 Index in 2025 reflects growing investor confidence, which could inspire similar infrastructure investments in regions like North America and Asia, fostering a connected global hydrogen market. Germany's simplified approval processes and subsidies could encourage countries to streamline regulations, accelerating project deployment and supporting the energy transition. This according to Reuters. All right, that's it for me, everyone. If you have a second, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a good review on whatever platform it is that you listen to. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, YouTube, whatever it is. That would be a tremendous help to the show. And as always, if you ever have any feedback, you're welcome to email me directly at info at thehydrogenpodcast.com. So until next time, keep your eyes up and honor one another.